right here. Suitcase. I got the table. Hats. Got hats. So yeah, we have plenty of room. All right. I'll set these right here. All right, Herbie, be good when we're gone. And yeah, we'll have Uncle check on you. Enjoy that pile of parsley. And uh, enjoy yourself. Bye, Herbie. Ready to hit the road, Jack? Like it's on that, it's way past. Hey guys, this is the Anthony's and welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. I'm sure you guys have already seen the title and the thumbnail, but we are road tripping to Emerald Isle, North Carolina, this beautiful beach. This will be our sixth time going. We love this beach so much. It's like a yearly tradition at this point, but I'm gonna vlog this trip for you guys, let you guys go along with us. Um, but we're not driving all the way there. We're gonna drive about six hours and we're stopping at a hotel in Fredericksburg, Virginia and stay the night there. And then we will drive the rest of the way from there tomorrow morning to Emerald Isle, North Carolina. So without further ado guys, welcome to this video and enjoy this journey. So I want to show you guys this really cool thing my mom got me. I want to thank my mom for getting this, but it's called an Octo Buddy, and it's a suction thing you can put in the back of your phone. Look at that, and you can stick it to a window like that. And it's awesome because it's going to allow me to be able to time lapse this trip. So let's start the time lapse. over bumps it stays on it's really good so guys not even that far on the trip we've already are in traffic now and it's well we're moving actually right now very slow but it's like bumper to bumper um, there's construction going on right now so that's why holy crap oh my gosh that's a semi troll oh my gosh oh my gosh car what the Oh my, oh my god, what the heck is going on on this highway? There's a car like down there. Yeah. Woo! 
Oh, guys, look at this. We're finally moving out of the traffic. We're finally going out of that stupid bumper to bumper stop and go traffic, and we're moving. And look at that. They have traffic on the other side of the highway. All right, guys, so we just did our first uh, bathroom break here at this rest stop. Very nice here in Somerset, Pennsylvania. And um, yeah, we got three hours and 50 minutes to get to our destination, Fairfield Inn and Suites in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, of course, I did stop the time lapse because, you know, we're getting out of the truck. And even though that was like three, two-ish, three hours of video um, in time lapse, it's down to 34 seconds. So yeah, nice and quick for you guys. All right, guys, so the rest stop is literally like over there really close like it's right behind us like you can literally see it um and we're stopping at the sunoco gas station they have here my dad is filling up our truck hopping it off with some gas uh so we can make it to the hotel in fredericksburg so yeah yeah all right guys got my phone on the window suction cup so we can time lapse the rest of this and hopefully my phone doesn't die it's at 46 percent and we're hitting the road again so i'll give you guys updates on the way yeah guys i don't know if you saw the but welcome to the state of maryland oh my gosh guys it, it was like we literally just barely went through maryland and we're already in west virginia and like i, I saw on the maps like okay we go through a little sliver of maryland um i wasn't kidding when we go through a little sliver of maryland like we're literally i we missed the sign we're like oh there's the sign it's the tiny sign ever and we're already in west virginia you really can't notice the difference from Pennsylvania, Maryland, and West Virginia. There's really no difference. Look at that giant pile of ground limestone. All right, guys, we're in this really cute small town in West Virginia called Berkeley Springs. Look up the population, it's very small. Population 755. Look at the cute little park. Look at how that, that's very nice. Um, it's a very cute little town. Hey, guess what, guys? We're in stop and go traffic. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to Virginia, the state for lovers. All right, guys. I've got some unfortunate news. My phone is dead. Look at that, nothing. So, you gotta plug this bad boy in. I'm sorry this happened and uh, you guys are gonna miss some of the outside bits so it's pretty boring right now I'll give you guys some updates on the way in and uh, let this get charged up and try to resume the time lapse if I can so yeah just please understand that just stopped at, uh, took a bathroom break at this it's called a why not stop never heard of that but they got Sunoco pumps here we're not gonna gas but yeah only got 30 minutes left so we're almost there yeah it's exciting, thrilling, we're ready to get back on the road. I'll check the battery percentage on my phone to see if it's good to put up for the time lapse. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, we got that time lapse set up, baby. And we only got 26 minutes left in the trip, but I got enough charge on my phone where I'm comfortable um, believing that it will last the rest of this trip. Um, the time lapse until we get to the hotel, so yeah. guys 
guys, we are now at our final destination for today, our hotel, Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott. Let's see how this hotel is, man. Carpet, rug, whatever. Carpet, rug, similar. Smells good. Wood. Yeah. Guys, we are now in our hotel room. It's you know it's decent, nothing fancy, but it's also not bad. It's just you go down there good, and, and it's good enough for the night. We're gonna stay here. Hello. Um. Yeah. This is the window. View's not great, but it's whatever. <laughs> um, AC is kind of loud, actually. I'd say. Um, but the only really bad thing I guess about this room is, well, popcorn ceiling, ugly. Um, and there's a lack of lights in here, but I'm, I'm nitpicking at this point because we're gonna stay in here for a night and it's plenty good for us to stay a night in here. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys over here. They got this note here and they left us a note. What does it say? Oh, like plus subscribe, nice. Uh, that was totally staged by the way. <laughs> My dad and I are in the truck right now because we're gonna go head to Roma Pizza. It's a local pizza place um, about six minutes away from our hotel, so yeah. All right, guys, we picked up our pizza from Roma and it smells like really good, like really good. And uh, I'm excited to eat it, so yeah. driving in the truck on the way to a hotel my dad shouts something uh, I'll show you guys what's in front and oh my gosh it's amazing it's the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile look at this I can't believe it that's awesome look at that oh my gosh I can't and look at Wisconsin Wienermobile Oh my gosh, it's the real thing, the real deal. Oh my gosh. Now look at that. That's where you go in? Yeah. The oh. I can't believe, guys, we just saw the Oscar Mayer Wiener movie, like the real thing, the real deal thing. All right, guys, this is the pizza from Roma, and uh, it was pretty good. It's definitely not the best pizza I've obviously ever had, but pretty good. Pepperoni was good, crust was good, but the thing I didn't like, it was very greasy, but it was pretty good pizza. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. After dinner, we went to the pool at our Fairfield Inn and & Suites in Fredericksburg, Virginia. This hotel does not have an outdoor pool, but only has an indoor pool. And it's a pretty small pool with only eight people allowed to be in at a time. There's a paper in front of the door before you go into the pool room. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, this is my quick review of the Fairfield Inn and Suites. It's the next day, and here's what I'll say. You know, the hotel's a little outdated, you know, outdated, you know, microwave and, like, popcorn ceiling and fridge. And, but, you know, if you're spending a night here like we are, it's perfectly fine. The hotel is clean, you know, there's no cockroaches. Our feet aren't black when we walk around, you know, the bed is clean, you know, and you might say, oh, your feet are black. I'm like, that can actually happen in, you know, some dirty hotels. This hotel is clean. Um, we felt clean. We didn't feel dirty when we were in the hotel room. So it's actually a pretty good hotel if you just want a clean hotel that gets the job done for a night. But it just doesn't have a lot of those, you know, good amenities. And the breakfast here was has to be probably some of the worst, if not the worst, hotel breakfast I've ever had. The bacon tasted like smoke-flavored plastic. Um, the sausage was very dry and brittle and just, like, crunchy, and it was weird. And, and as crazy it is, even my pre-packaged muffin, my banana muffin, was I did not like it. It had a ton of, like, artificial banana flavoring in it, even though it had, like, actual bananas in it. And it was just artificially sweet and just bad. I was like, yeah, I just, I knew it was bad breakfast when even the pre-packaged muffin was bad because, you know, a pre-packaged muffin, I don't expect it to be great, but at least be good, and it was eh. But we did pick up a brand muffin for the road trip, and I had some of it, and it was actually pretty good. I will just say, though, the hotel overall was nice. The breakfast was not. Um, it was barely edible. I'll give the breakfast uh, like a 2 out of 10. I'm telling you, it was not good. But it was food. <laughs> it was food. All right, guys, we're hitting the road right now. It is 9.36 a.m. Our arrival estimated time is 2.57 p.m., 5 hours and 20 minutes left on the trip, 3 hours, 11, uh, 311 miles. Um, so, yeah, but that's just estimates, and with stops, it will probably be longer, maybe closer to 6 hours. So, yeah, I'll give you guys updates on the way just like last time, um, and let's start the time lapse. That right there is a Marlboro cigarette looking smokestack for the factory. Guys, take a look at this Chevrolet C10 on the back of that flatbed. It looks so nice in that yellow color, nicely restored. And also a nice Ford Bronco right there, but still not as cool as the C10, but just wanted to point that out. Welcome to North Carolina, guys. Now we're in North Carolina, and we have exactly three hours left of the drive. So yeah, of course, I'll still give you updates. Haven't given you many updates because it's, you know, nothing interesting's really gone on. Besides, since it's I-95 South, there's a ton of traffic. And when I mean a ton, it's, it's like, there's a, it's not like long traffic, just stop and go, stop and go. But we finally, for a while now, have been able to go for a while. All right, guys, look at these awesome cars. We got a t Ferrari Testarossa, beautiful. And then we have a Corvette. And then we have like a 32 Chevy. I mean, that is beautiful. And there's some more cars coming up, man. Uh, you guys can see that. Right? All right, guys, look at this. This is awesome. A first generation Chevrolet Corvette. Look at that thing right there. Beautiful design. And then we have a drag car. That thing is sick. And look, what's crazy about that drag car is it has the headlights off the first generation Corvette also, so that's really cool. We stopped at the I-95 Nash County rest area. Time lapse back. All right, guys, update on the navigation. Our arrival time estimate is 2.49 p.m. We have two hours and 26 minutes left and an hour and 46 and 146 miles. Um, so yeah, 
uh, that's just estimates, of course, these can change, and uh, yeah. beautiful light yellow look at that it's looking really nice and i have to cough so <coughs> sorry about that i guess i had a scratch in my throat anyways there's our house right there in that beautiful yellow color i can't we are in paradise that beautiful i love that beach heat it feels amazing on my skin it we're in paradise and even though this is our sixth time going to Emerald Isle, it never gets old. You can never go to Emerald Isle too many times. And if you guys are ever looking for an amazing beach to go to that is never overcrowded, well, head over to Emerald Isle, North Carolina. You will not regret it. It's an amazing beach with amazing water view. Um, we have an oceanfront beach house, by the way. And I'm going to quit rambling. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to our beach house, guys. Oh, there's the pier. There's Emerald Isle. Welcome. Love to the beach and back. Lovely to the beach and back. Nice. Lighthouse. I've got a game room. This is the game room right here. Oh, my gosh. Fridge. Microwave. This is my room. Oh, this is nice, a bunk bed, all right, got a TV, alarm clock, not gonna use, cause you know, and oh, I see rocks, okay, that's all right. <laughs> Closet. And oh my gosh, is this bathroom Nice. Hello, guys. I'm gonna put some stuff in here. What am I doing? Alright, open our shower. Holy crap. I love the shower. Tile. I doubt the shower had nice. Um, nice floor. And a glass door that doesn't have a socket point. It just goes. Okay, that's still nice. Oh, carrying lots of stuff up these stairs. They're like a spiral stair. 
four a little bit and I forgot the layout of this house because we've stayed at this one for last time we stayed here was 2018 um yeah and I have a lot of weight in my hands so oh this house is nice like really nice and I guess I'll set the cooler on the counter here yeah um go down here this house is nice I mean, ocean front yeah it's a quick look got a lot of stuff to get out of the truck so I'm gonna go down these stairs and then more stairs right yep okay <laughs> and then I go here and then I'm gonna set my backpack uh up here right now hey I got an ice maker where'd you where'd you like this Oh, we got the same coffee makers we do at home, or did we bring that? Okay. It, oh, and they have two of them. Where would you like the table? The table? Uh, the Costco table. Okay. Okay. Right here? Just lay it up against the wall. Okay. Or this chair. Whatever works. Ah, uh, good to be in paradise out here on the beach. It's the umbrella steak. Second find. We'll see what it is. Guess what? Second find, another tent steak. Maybe we'll find a set of four. No, it's just the first night, so I have plenty of time to metal detect. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video of traveling to Emerald Isle, North Carolina. And uh, yeah, it's just the first night, but we got plenty plenty things that are gonna happen during this adventure and uh, yeah also a lot of things I'm gonna find metal detecting so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash the like button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe ring the notification bell I will see you guys in the very next video and uh, yeah I'm gonna enjoy paradise see you guys peace out Thank <laughs> you.